Well, hello there. Welcome once more to Contrast Kitchen. And if this is your first time stopping by, I'd like to say a very warm welcome to you. Join me as I prepare some fried indomie or stir fry noodles, an amazing way to turn something that is otherwise not so healthy into a healthy dish. I want my dish to be colorful, so I'm going to start off by cutting some red onions. You can also see all these beautiful peppers that I have here. I want the colors to pop. Unfortunately, with all the cooking that I do in this house, my children love, love noodles. It's like they would eat noodles any day over anything. So I'm trying to continue to incorporate vegetables in it, make it as beautiful and colorful as I possibly can with the hopes that they will like it with some vegetables. I've still not been able to be successful at that, but I'm not going to give up. At least they eat it and pick around the vegetables. So eventually they eat a few pieces for me and for that, I'm thankful so anyway I'm cutting my peppers in the diagonal I like it to be this shape these are sweet peppers they are by no means spicy you could use regular bell peppers as well and of course we are going to introduce a little bit of heat to this because this is typical Ghanaian street style noodles with more popping vibrant vegetables in here I'm also going to cut up some spring onions or scallions I like a lot of onions, so of course I have my red onions. You want that pop of green. I actually didn't have any green peppers, so the scallions has to be a lot to make for the balance of all the colors that I have here. I'm also going to grate some ginger. You know, you can't have a stir fry without ginger. Well, not in my books. <laughs> so I've grated about a tablespoon of ginger. That should be enough for what I'm about to cook. And I'm going to go ahead and start getting my noodles cooked. So I'm using original Indomie noodles. This is the one that is very common in Ghana. And you can find this in most Asian supermarkets or the African market as well. I'm going to be using four packs for this. I'm making a whole family meal with that. I'm not going to be breaking my noodles. I'm just going to cook them whole. So I wait until my water is boiling. Pretty much you're going to cook this according to the instructions on the packet. You just want to slightly undercook this because you're going to stir fry it as well and it's going to cook. You don't want it to end up being mushy. Once my noodles begin to soak up the water, it starts to separate and I'm just going to stir it to help it just separate some more cover and let it just boil over right after it boils over I turned off the flame and I'm just going to strain this right away you don't want to noodles to be overcooked it looks like it has just a little bit of rawness into it in it and that is perfectly fine so I'm gonna go ahead and strain this I'm going to run some cool water on my noodles I'm just trying to prevent it from cooking any further. I really am trying to prevent it from getting mushy. So just a little bit of cold water. And now I'm going to also drizzle some oil. This is going to provide some coating to the individual noodles so they don't get stuck together. Now I'm going to stir it so that the oil gets to every part of it. And then that is pretty much it for now. So I'll set that aside as well and focus on the proteins that are going to go into my stir fry. So I have some shrimp. I also have some shaved meat, the one that you used in making cheese steaks, and I also have some chicken thighs cut into thin strips. I'm going to season them all with salt, so salt is going on each of them first. Then I'm going to add some onion powder. And some garlic powder as well. On each of them now to the chicken I'm going to be adding some paprika and then I'm going to put some of my ginger paste or grated ginger on the chicken and the beef the rest of my ginger I'm going to save and it's going to go in the actual stir-fry with the vegetables now I'm going to mix my seasonings into my meat and my shrimp I'm first going to do the shaved meat this is what you would typically use in making cheese steak and I'm keeping it whole it is going to cook and shrivel down so it's still going to be perfect so onto my chicken thighs it has no skin on it so quite healthy and lean and once it's all incorporated I'm going to set that aside and do the same to my shrimp
now I'm going to heat up my wok once it's hot I'm going to add some avocado oil I'm just going to stir it so it coats the base of my wok now I'm going to add my chicken spread it out to cover the base of my wok you want the chicken to cook beautifully with a very beautiful sear so once you spread this out you're not going to disturb it you're not going to try to stir or anything just allow it to cook through for about four minutes on this side it's going to come out looking like fried absolutely perfect and now that the heat is even you can just go ahead and stir it through to get your chicken all the way cooked and then it's ready to come out and be set aside. Once the chicken has all come out of the wok, you want to add just another drizzle of oil, just about this much. Spread it out again and now I'm going to add my beef in here. And the same method that I used to cook the chicken is what I'm going to use. So I'm going to just spread it out to cover the base of my wok and allow it to sear. About three to four minutes later, your meat should look like this when you stir it. And now you can continue to stir all the way through until there is no raw meat in here and your beef is all cooked to look like this. You can go ahead and set this aside as well so we can cook the shrimp. So if you were thinking my meats were quite mildly seasoned, this is the reason. I'm going to be using these seasoning packets that came in my indomie noodles. And so I took that into consideration when I was seasoning the meat. I don't want it to be overly seasoned. I don't want it especially to be too salty. I'm also going to add the oils. And it is a little bit tricky getting all the contents of that packet out. So I'm just going to just squeeze as much of it out as I can and I figured if I shake it before I open it it helps to get a little bit more of the oil out so that is what I did on this one and I think it did work out much better once I have all my oils in there I'm just gonna go ahead and stir it I'm trying to get something like a paste and now I'm going to set that aside and then once I start my actual stir fry, it's going to go on the vegetables. Check in on my shrimp, it's doing beautifully. I'm going to flip them so the top parts get to cook as well. And once they cook through, I'm just going to set them aside as well. Now that we are done cooking our meat and our shrimp, you don't want to clean your wok. You want all these flavors to remain. So I've drizzled just a little bit more oil in my wok, added my onions, grated ginger. I'm going to just give this a quick stir, let the flavors just mingle together. It's just smelling amazing right away. Onions and ginger combined plus all that residue in the wok. Amazing. Amazing. So I'm going to stir this, give it about a full minute to cook through for the flavors to really, really come out. You don't want to overcook this. You want the color of that onion to remain at the end of the day. I'm going to add my peppers, stir it, just let it toss around for about half a minute. And now I'm going to add the rest of my red onions, stir it through. And now I'm going to add about a third of my seasoning paste that I made from the packets that came in the noodles onto my vegetables. Give it a quick stir. Now add in your meats. Stir them into your vegetables. And right away, I know you can sense that we took street noodles and turned it into something that you would easily pay a fortune to eat in a fine restaurant. Just look at how vibrant it's looking. Delicious. 
now I'm going to add in my noodles and I'm also going to add the rest of my seasoning paste rinse my bowl with a little bit of water and pour it over everything at this point you are going to need two spoons so using two spoons I'm just going to toss lift and toss lift and toss because the noodle is light it is stringy so it is hard for you to combine all that vegetables and meat in here you want to use two spoons to continue to stir until it is very well incorporated which is going to take a while but you have to be gentle you want to lift and drop lift and drop until most of it is combined and for me at this point it's a lot easier to use one spoon so I can just lift from the bottom shake it a little bit to get everything mixed in there once you're convinced that everything is well combined you want to add your very last ingredient which is your scallions or your green onions and that brings that pop of color the green texture fragrance scallions on here is just perfect but I always never want to overcook it so it always goes in last in all my stir fries I've turned off the flame at this point and I'm just going to stir it in until it is very well combined and your fried indomie is ready I know I can't really say how simple this time because if you are judging with how simple indomie is this is like two steps over how simple it is but an absolutely delicious meal you've made you can serve this at your parties you can serve this to your kids as a hot lunch especially if they like their veggies so yes ma'am yes sir we took regular noodles and turned it into something absolutely delicious I hope you try this I know you are going to love it if this is your first time watching me my name is Francois and making simple meals like this is what makes me happy and I hope you subscribe to my channel kindly give me a thumbs up and share and until I come your way next time with something delicious be loving be kind be happy delicious, yeah.